competitors together on a regular basis. Let's see what we've got now because uh, we're going to get our first chance to see the women in the under 70 kilo category now. Maria Portela of Brazil faces Kim seong yeon of Korea. Interesting to see how Portela copes with um, Kim. Kim is the, uh, the number two at this weight in uh, Korea. Number one um, isn't isn't here. That's uh, Huang Yesol. So it's possible that um, Portella hasn't um, fought Kim before. It's possible. First round of the uh, men's under 81 kilo category is already out of the way. Just run through that um, quickly for you. That's the category that we saw first up whilst we were watching Portella and Kim. Penalba had a bye into what is, there's, there's one round, one first round, and then we're immediately into the quarterfinals. So um, Penalba had a bye in the first uh, round. He's the number one seed. And uh, he'll face Ivan Nifontov, who um, defeated Loic Pietri of France. Then Antoine Valois-Fortier will face uh, Yakio Imamov of um, Uzbekistan. And then um, Aftandil Chirikishvili of Georgia, he had a bye into the quarterfinal. He's going to face uh, Murat Kabachirov of uh, Russia. And then Levin Siklauri lost out to Nagashima Keita of uh, Japan. Nagashima will face Russia's Zirazudin Magomedov. Okay, that's the lineup uh, for the quarterfinals in the under 81 kilo category. We're, we're watching the women in the under 70 kilo uh, category now. The number one seed, as I mentioned earlier on, is Kalita Zupanchik of Canada. She has, she's had a bye into the quarterfinal. She will face Bernadette Graf of Austria, who defeated Mongolia's Tsendayush Naranjagal. Graf and Zupanchik will do battle in that uh, first quarterfinal. And we're up to date now because we're watching Maria Portella and Kim Seong Yeon. So I hope that's um, kept you abreast of. Uh, what's happening.
Sally Conway of uh, Great Britain has just defeated uh, Asma Niang of Morocco down on uh, map two. That's in the other half of the under 70 kilo category. Conway will now face Lucy Lacoste of uh, France. Both fighters managed to uh, pile up uh, penalties. Come to the end of our normal time, so we're going to need a little bit of extra time to sort this one out. We're on the way with the uh, golden score period. Um, I was talking about whether Portella had ever faced Kim him being the, uh, the number two Korean and uh, Huang Yesol being uh, the number one and uh, they haven't fought each other before Portella, Portella however has fought um, Huang the number one Korean th on three occasions first time she's come up against Kim however Making hard work of it. Portella couldn't come up with a score and Kim couldn't come up with uh, a counter. Can't afford to wait. Portella looks the more active of the uh, the two, and uh, it's a really, really dangerous game to play. Hanging around, as I've said on so many occasions, what you don't want to do. Oh, it was uh, Portella who was penalised for um, a gripping infringement. hands of the referee let's have a look and see what the infringement was for at the end we probably won't see it now